Hey Matrix, welcome to part two of the series where we're going through the maths paper one uh, November exam. This is the 2020 past paper and we'll be doing question two on sequences and series. If you don't have the paper, please pause the video now. There's a link in the description uh, where you can download the past paper and the memos. And once you have it, we can continue. Okay, let's get started. Now with question two in maths paper one, it's always going to be your sequences and series. Okay, so just a quick reminder, the difference between a sequence and a series. So a sequence is a set of numbers with a relationship between the numbers. Uh, and a series is the sum of the set of numbers in a sequence. Okay, so let's get started with question two. Uh, 2.1 gives you the following um, sequence. Uh, it, they tell us it's an arithmetic sequence and they want us to find the values of X and Y. Okay, so remember with uh, arithmetic sequence, there's a first common difference and this is our formula that we um, get for the arithmetic sequence. So now we've got to find X and Y. Now note that X is the second term and Y is the third term. Okay, with arithmetic we need a common difference. So uh, the difference between 7 and x must equal the difference between x and y and then obviously must equal the difference between y and negative 11. Okay, so easiest way to go about this is to find your common difference. Okay, so in this case I'm going to use the fourth term over here, so where n equals 4. So a of 4 is then going to equal to, remember a1 is the first term, so that's going to be 7 plus, we're dealing with the fourth term, so 4 minus 1 times d. Okay, remember a4 is going to be negative 11. Okay, equals to 7 um, plus 3d. Okay, now we can solve for d to find our common difference. Okay, so take the 7 over, we're going to get negative 18. Okay, is then going to equal to 3d, and therefore d is going to equal to negative 6. Now that we have our common difference, d, we can then find x and y. Okay, you can use the formula and substitute n equals 2 and n equals 3. I'm going to do it that way. Okay, so we're going to find a2 is going to equal to 7 plus 2 minus 1 times negative 6. Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 6, so a2 is going to equal to 7 minus 6, which is 1, and that's what can equal to x. Okay, then to find y, the same thing, we're looking for a3, that's going to be 7 plus 3 minus 1 uh, times negative 6. Okay, and then that's going to give you 7 plus 2 times negative 6 is 12, so it's negative 12. So therefore, a3 is going to equal to uh, negative 5, which equals y. Okay. The other way you could have gone about this is to do a uh, simultaneous equation. So you could have set up the following simultaneous equation, where you say x minus 7 must equal to y minus x. That will be your first equation. And then your second equation will be y minus x will equal to negative 11 minus y, okay? Remember, that minus that must give you a common difference. That's why it's equal to this, okay? And y minus x must equal to negative 11 minus y, okay? You can make one of them your subject, and by substituting into each other, you'll then find that um, x equals 1 and y equals to negative 5, okay? Moving on to question um, 2.2, okay, they tell us that we have a quadratic uh, number pattern, okay, uh, and 2.2.1 asks us to determine the general formula for the quadratic pattern. Okay, remember quadratic has two common, um, or two differences, two sets, so if we look up here, we have the first set of common differences and our second set of common differences, okay. Um, now the process to find your quadratic formula, um, step one, okay, we use the following formula, 2a equals your second common difference, that is 12, okay, so we'll have 2a equals to 12, therefore a 
equals um, two, six. Okay, next step, okay, is three A plus B equals two N one of the first common difference. That is this number here. Okay, so we're dealing with the nine. Okay, um, so we'll have three times six plus B is then going to equal to nine. Okay, and if you solve that out, you shall get that B equals to negative nine. Okay, and then finally, by putting everything together, for step three says A plus B plus C must equal to A1. Okay, so A1 is negative three. So when dealing with this, you always keep to the left-hand side of the um, tree that you produce over here. Okay, so we're then going to have six minus nine plus C must equal to negative three, and that implies that C equals zero. Okay, so finally, Tn is going to equal to A was six, so six N squared, um, and then B was negative nine, so minus nine N. Okay, not too difficult on that one. Um, the next question asks us to calculate the value of the 50th term of the pattern. Okay, 50th term, the 50th year, that should indicate that we're dealing with n, okay? So we're finding the 50th term, which is your n value. So you just plug it into the formula. So t of 50 is then going to equal to, um, let's see, six times 50 squared minus nine times 50. Plug that into your calculator and you should get a value of um, 14,550. Okay, now the next question, a little bit more tricky one, says show that the sum of the first n first differences of the pattern can be written as sn equals 6n squared plus 3. Okay, remember the sum, sum means series, okay, um, so series we're going to indicate as the sum from n equals 1 to n, okay, and if we look at the first n differences, we have 9, 21, and 3, that's an arithmetic sequence, because it's only got a common difference, first common difference, okay, and from your formula sheet, you should find this, sn equals to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times your common difference, okay, now, a is your first term, so that's 9, and your common difference is 12. Okay, so you should then get Sn equals n over 2, 2 times 9, plus n minus 1 times 12. Okay, and if you work through all that algebra, be careful of the negative here, you will get down to Sn equals to 6n squared plus 3n. Okay, and that becomes our series, or for the first common difference terms. Okay, now the last question is your level 4 question. So it asks, how many consecutive first differences were added to the first term of the quadratic number pattern to obtain the term in the quadratic number pattern that has a value of that? Okay, so that's our tn value. Okay, now, there are two ways of going about this. Um, I'll show you both of them. Uh, so the first way is to use the quadratic um, series, I mean se sequence. Um, so what we're going to do is Tn equals to, uh, where is it? Yeah, let me just find it. There we go. 6n squared minus 9n. Okay, so using that, we're looking for the 200 or 20, 21,060 must equal to that. Okay, so using your quadratic formula, n equals to negative b plus minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, in this case, b is negative 9. 
that's going to be negative negative 9 plus minus the square root of negative 9 squared so that's going to give you 81 minus 4 times a6 times c which will be negative 21060 okay all over 2a 2 times 6 if you plug that into your calculator okay you shall get a value of n equals uh, 260 okay but oh, and the other value you'll get is n equals to negative 58.5 okay but what you need to remember is we're looking at the first how many first common differences were added okay and if you look at the first common difference sequence okay its first term only starts after let's actually look at here its first term only starts after the first term of the original series so two terms give me one term so yeah we have one two three four but you only have one two three so the first common difference is n minus one um positions compared to the actual series so we actually have to take 60 and minus one off of it which will give you 59 okay the other way you could have taken it is you take the first term in this um uh, sequence okay which was negative three and you add all the first common differences so plus nine plus 21 plus 33 and so on but this we know is just sn okay and that's all got to equal to 21060 so technically what we have is negative 3 plus sn equals 21060 if you substitute sn that's going to be um 6 so it's 6n squared plus 3n um, equals to 21060 um, and if you solve that out you'll get n equals to 59. Yeah, so if you found the video helpful please leave a thumbs up um, on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions regarding any of the work in this question please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And yeah, if you know of anyone else who could use the help, please pass it on. And thank you for watching.